All seen it in movies, people walking along a beach and they find a message in a bottle. Now a seventh grader in Mandeville and a marine biologist in Texas are connected because of a class project and Hurricane Laura is to thank for helping along the delivery. Devin Bartolotta has the story. The Bahamas, Miami, Galveston, even France, Portugal and the UK. Messages in a bottle from Cedarwood Elementary in Mandeville have turned up all over the world. I totally forgot about it. But none before Evan Wurzel, now in seventh grade, have disappeared for three years. We were studying the ocean currents and to add on to it, like a little project, we made two bottles and we dropped one in the Atlantic coast by North Carolina and one in the Gulf Coast. And we predicted where each bottle was going to go. You know, they thought that it was going to go to uh, Florida and it would be there, you know, within a certain amount of time or whatever. And uh, it turns out it went the opposite direction. It ended up in Texas. It ended up right in the hands of marine scientist Jace Tunnel, who was surveying the beach hundreds of miles away from Mandeville in Port Aransas, Texas. Tunnel believes rough seas from Hurricane Laura likely brought the bottle ashore. It took days to dry out the message inside. With having a map and a lot of detail in the writing, um, and it being from a fourth grader, I mean, that was pretty amazing. It read, quote, if you're lucky enough to find this bottle, please contact me using the address or phone number for our school. It would be very exciting to learn about the place where my bottle ended up. I thought it was really cool. At first, I didn't believe it. The pair got to FaceTime and talk about the discovery, but when asked if Evan might become a marine biologist one day. Well, I'm only 12 now. I'm trying to not plan into the future that much. The future of his message in a bottle, though, is certain. Rolling it back up and putting it back uh, in the bottle and then putting it up on the shelf. So then it's part of our family now. <laughs> in Mandeville, Devin Bartolotta, Eyewitness News.